In this video, we're going to go through the example project that will be installed when you download the program. So the, the PDF for that example is here. As you can see, we've got the existing in pale gray contours, and then we've got the proposed in the black contours. Um, and to scale this drawing, we have a scale bar. Um, we don't have a scale written here that's like one in 50 or one inch equals 20 foot. We'll use the scale bar instead on this one. So to get started with this project, we'll go plan and then add PDF file, and we'll just choose that PDF. Now this box allows you to type in the scale if it was written on the drawing. Um, so if you had a scale written on your drawing, then you could just type it in here and it would be scaled straight away. But actually in this example, we just have that scale bar, so I'll just ignore this window and click OK. So now this image is loaded in, you'll find that the program automatically removes the background color, this white color here. I'm just going to take that transparency off so that the white will reappear and we'll see the PDF as you would see it normally. So what I really need to do now is to scale this image so that the program knows what size it is. If we don't do this correctly, all the volumes will come out wrong. So to do that, I'll click scale and then it will just prompt me to draw in the length that I want to scale. So I'll draw in this scale bar, and I'll type in the length for that, 20 meters, and now the program will adjust that image to be the correct size. So if I click OK, that will now be loaded into the uh, main window. And what I would always suggest you do is just check that you've scaled the drawing correctly, which you can do by pressing and holding down on the M key to measure distances. So I can see that that's now 20 meters. Um, so that's all scaled as I need it. So that's the first stage, is to load in that PDF. The next stage of the process is to define the existing ground levels. So that's what I'm going to go on to do now. I do that by clicking Existing and then Edit Elevations. And this window will appear, which allows you to define all the elevation features for your existing ground. So the first thing I'll do is just draw the site outline. Just do this by clicking on the screen. So that's to find the outline of the site. The next thing to do is to add in the existing contours, um, which you can see here. So I'll just click on the contours tab, and then I'll just draw them in just the same way, clicking on the screen. But for the contours, when I finish drawing, it will ask me what level that contour is. So I'll then type in the contour level. So that's basically the process to do a, a manual takeoff. You just go through each contour line, type in their levels, and build up your site elevations that way. If we had a CAD file, we could save some time by loading these contours in, but uh, that will be covered in a different video. Okay, so that's all my existing contour lines drawn onto this project. Uh, that's everything I need to do in this case. So I'll just click the OK button. And then the software will create a surface from those existing contour lines. Now, the first thing you notice is you can't actually see the surface because this image is actually drawn on top of it. Um, so that's actually the reason we need to adjust those transparent colors that we discussed earlier. So I'm going to go back into the site plan. And then I'm just going to add these transparent colors back in. So I'll just click Add New Color and then choose the color on the screen. So I'll remove that white one first, and then I'll remove this pale gray. And then we'll be left with just the line work of this drawing so that we can see through to the, the surfaces below. Now I'll click OK, and that will be updated. So now you can see the surface that has been created from those contour lines we drew. Um, and on the cursor, 
we can actually inspect this site. So you can see it says X and Y, and then it says Z. So that's the level of the position of the mouse. So you can, you can do some checks to make sure that this surface has come out how you expect it to be. Um, that's always worth doing. If you see an anomaly between the surface and the contour, then maybe you've typed in a level wrong or something like that. But that's everything for the second stage of the process. The third stage is now to define our proposed ground levels. So to do that, we click on the plus button here. And this will give you a number of options to define the proposed levels. If you have the trial version, you'll only have this option available to you. But these options to run through them briefly, this will draw a flat area. This will strip your site or add a, an overlay. Uh, this will define a sloping area. This will define a surface, which is done in just the same way as the existing ground levels that I showed you. And this will define a path, so for instance, a trench or a road. So in this example, we actually have a surface to surface takeoff. So I'm just going to add a surface and that will allow us to define the proposed ground levels in just the same way that we defined the existing ground levels. So in this case, it's going to be just the same process. I'm going to draw the outline around the proposed ground and then I'm going to draw in the contour lines for the proposed levels. So that's the proposed contours defined in just the same way that we did the existing. So that's everything we need to do to define the proposed here. We'll just click the OK button and that will now be loaded into the software and the cut and fill will be calculated for that project. So as soon as the cut and fill is calculated, you'll straight away see a cut and fill map which in this case is in red and blue. And you'll also see the cut and fill volumes presented on the top left of the screen. So the intensity and the colors of the map uh, indicates the depth of cut or fill. Uh, we can also actually have the cursor display the depth of cut and fill, which I usually do. So I switch on that options by clicking options and then cursor, and then choose this cut fill option. So now wherever we put the mouse, we'll see the X value, the Y value, the Z proposed. But we also see F for fill and then 3.76 meters. So this is just quite a useful way to inspect the site. As well as showing this uh, cut and fill map, we can also switch it to, to display the levels instead by clicking here. So it's now showing the ground levels for the proposed. So we can switch between those two, which is quite a useful way to check various aspects of the takeoff. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that's given you an idea of how to do our simple takeoff example. Uh, but we have other videos that cover different scenarios and different aspects of the program. So take a look at those.